the biggest stars in hip hop came out today to support Dr. Dre as he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The Compton native co-founded rap group NWA in the 80s and then rose to fame on his own in the 90s with a solo career while helping to popularize gangster rap. Dre is also the president and co-founder of Death Row Records, as well as Beats Electronics, helping cement the rapper's legacy as a media mogul. KTLA Samantha Cortez joins us now with more from today's ceremony. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sharon Micah. While he joked all his friends got stars before him, Dr. Dre said it's a dream that people from around the world come to Hollywood to see the stars of the greats. And now, just a short drive from his hometown, people will see his name cemented forever. Still Snoop Dogg and D.I. Guess who's back? Stay. Some of the most iconic melodies of hip hop history came from the mind of Dr. Dre. It's the one and only D.R.E. Dr. Dre love Buck. Growing up in Compton, I never imagined that I would one day be represented here among some of my childhood heroes. Dr. Dre's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is now just 20 miles from that small house in Compton where careers were born and resuscitated. And when your album sales wasn't doing too good, who's the doctor they told you to go see? 20 million albums sold, solo, NWA, Death Row Records, and billions made as a businessman. The one and only DRE, and you know I keep the hands ringing. But the past three years of Dr. Dre's life have been miraculous, too. He suffered an aneurysm in 2021 and three strokes since, from the hospital to an Emmy-winning halftime show. They want to know if he still got it. They say rap shame. They want to know how I feel. To Hollywood Boulevard, with a star in front of El Capitan Theater. I'll be here forever. <laughs> Next to his longtime friend and collaborator, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, who performed what many are already calling an epic tribute. Long Beach to Compton to Calabasas. Compositions, pay attention. Quincy had Michael, they rewrote the cycle. So if Dre is Q and Mike is Snoop, we bang, G thang, super group. Also there, Dr. Dre's superstar protégés, 50 Cent and Eminem, and record executive Jimmy Iovine. For all you people out there that are aspiring to get into entertainment, when you go to bed tonight, pray you meet a Dr. Dre. Most of us have grown up together and at nearly 60 years old, huh, you're still rocking with me and I really appreciate that. And he says there's more to come. Dre, whose real name is Andre Young, collaborated with Iovine to launch Beats headphones in 2006. And with all that money, they've since opened the Young and Ivy and Academy for K through college students in South LA. In the studio, Samantha Cortese, back to you. What a career, mm. still more to come. <laughs>